probably a raccoon or something like that. The chicken has not made a squawk. Um, and it's roosting right there on my shelves. So it could possibly be the the chicken jumping off the shelves. It's And the chicken's probably gone and I just didn't hear it. Uh, we'll find out in the morning. Uh, I set them up very carefully this time. Hopefully, we'll get something. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Wherever it is is back. It's 4.30 in the morning. Um, evidently, those shelves are just a little too convenient for whatever it is to be jumping on and walking around on, so I guess I'm going to have to at night store them in the upward position because uh, it wakes me up whenever it is whatever it is chicken or whatever um, jumps on it and shakes the trailer uh, <laughs> it didn't scare away very easy so because um, I banged on the side of the trailer and uh, it didn't run away so it might be just the chickens running around so um, we'll find out in the morning I'm gonna go back to bed okay just a little bit of an update um, I'm not too worried about what it is outside whatever it seems to be seems to be a small critter um, and I heard it uh, hit the chain as it was walking down the um, steps or walking down the the shelves um, I'm not too worried about it right at the moment it keeps waking me up I have cameras out there um, so you know <laughs> we'll find out what it is in the morning and if it's the stupid chicken then I'll know that uh, I gotta fold the shelves up at night and and here's our returning culprit. <clears throat> he uh, caught him dead-handed there. <laughs> Couldn't resist the hot dogs. Um, basically, I think what I'm going to have to do is fold up the shelves to keep the uh, critters from jumping up on him. And uh, I'm also going to install a window or a couple of windows in my trailer on the sides. I have some tempered hard glass that I'm going to use for the windows which is much stronger than the uh, normal window pane glass it's this glass is more like the windshield of a car so it can take a blow pretty pretty good blow before it cracks and shatters um, that way I'll at least be able to look out the side and and check out what's there well this brings us to the end of night two Day 3 is coming up with some interesting finds. And uh, don't forget to check out the Bigfoot in Arizona documentary available at Amazon.com. Thank you. Bye.